so it's my understanding effectively that um, that that the PRTG SLA reporter is an extension of the PRTG solution. Um, and I'm curious, I, I, my, my sense would be that um, that not a lot of people have a service level agreement monitoring solution in place, but most people have a network monitoring solution in place. Is that is that how you'd read it as well? Yeah, I would say the monitoring is uh, very essential, but not everyone at the end uh, has the SLA monitoring on the top of it. So like uh, some monitoring solutions comes with uh, various level of SLA reporting as well, uh, but it's not always enough. So, uh, you know, usually the SLA reporting that comes with uh, the monitoring uh, is perhaps not that flexible, not that customizable perhaps does not show these uh, like uh, advanced metrics. So yeah, at the end, uh, there it's, it's a good idea to have a like dedicated tool that gives you all these options. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit, uh, Tomas, about how to, how to engage Pessler around um, a trial, right? Usually most people wanna, wanna get a sense for this. And I know, again, that it kind of sits on top of the PRTG solution, but I'm curious, Kind of how you bring it to um, to somebody who's curious about taking the next step and and seeing an event like this and then wanting to learn more uh, in their particular instance. That's an easy way you can download it and implement it and use it for with the full functionality for thirty days. And if you have any questions, then you will get a full support as if you are a customer. So this means we help even up to video sessions to set up the system in case of, of any problems. Well, excellent. Um, and we would certainly encourage everybody who's interested in, um, in learning more about Pessler to go to the Pessler website. There's a whole host of information, not only around the SLA um, monitoring, but but around Pessler in general. And Pessler has been around for, uh, like we said, since I think 2000 anyway, uh, and, uh, and is really a leader, uh, according to every major metric, a leader uh, in this uh, network monitoring space. Um, in terms of questions, actually, uh, that we're getting, can we give access to the reports to an end customer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can either like create a user for them, so they have uh, they can go through multiple uh, reports that are perhaps assigned to them, or you can uh, uh, you can share this uh, you know link directly with them, so they do not need to uh, go through any authentication and they just uh, see the reports uh, with the direct link. So yeah, that's pretty common. Can they have an SLA based upon network bandwidth? That's also possible, uh, but you need to have some like uh, additional configuration because uh, what the SLA plugin uh, works uh, or SLA reporter works strictly on uh, the state of the sensor. So it only reports whether the sensor is reported as green or red, like up or down. And to have uh, the information about the bandwidth, you need to uh, configure the thresholds in uh, the PRTG for, for the sensors, which is very easy to do. You can have some defaults. And then you would say, okay, so you know, if this specific network interface goes above this uh, bandwidth, then I would consider it because you know they were perhaps assigned only this amount of bandwidth. If they go above and go above too often, I want to know about that. So, you just need to define a threshold in PRTG, and then you can use that sensor in SLA because it would show in SLA like whenever it was breached, whenever it went above the threshold that was set for for the bandwidth. So yeah, this is possible. It's just not the like most common usage for it, but it's definitely possible. And with regard to pricing, I know you have some pricing for the SLA um, reporter subscription on the website. Um, first things first, you do need the uh, the PRTG network monitoring subscription to begin with, um, but it's 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 not that much more to to layer this on top. Am I am I reading that right? About the pricing, I have to point to the sales team at Pesla. <laughs> Uh, but the prices for the SLA reporter are only su a subscription based, yeah, and they are not really high. 
this I can tell. And you can use it with any kind of PRTG version. This means with the perpetual or with the non-perpetual version. Both are working together with it. Yeah, so walk us through, uh, while we have a few minutes left, walk us through, um, you know, somebody already has some network monitoring in place, but they see a functionality like this and realize that they might not be able to get that with what they currently have. Walk us through a little bit about how they might go about um, engaging Pessler in getting actually a, a whole new um, network monitoring uh, solution. There are a lot of materials about uh, like documentation about the PRTG, what it is capable of. So maybe that might be a starting point. But there is also a trial version of PRTG that also at the end could be used as a free version. There is like for up to 100 sensors, you can, you can use the PRTG uh, completely free. But when you install it first time, you have, again, 30 days trial with uh, like unlimited number of sensors that you can assign. And I would highly encourage to uh, start, you know, in this direction to see what is the power of PRTG, what, what are the capabilities. And then, of course, there are options for uh, getting some additional consulting and um, support directly uh, from Besser. So we can deliver a whole range of uh, uh, services in in this direction. Yeah, this was fascinating. Um, excellent presentation. The uh, the the topic is one that people really need to be paying attention to, and and certainly not only with regard to network monitoring, but taking network monitoring to that next level and being able to provide that service level reporting um, really is uh, kind of delivering at the highest possible level, and uh, and we always like to see that. So, um, Thomas Libor, thanks very much for being here today. Uh, it was great to, to have you. We look forward to tracking your progress with Pestler uh, here at Solutions Review. Um, if you're interested in anything that we're writing with regard to network monitoring, obviously come to solutionsreview.com and check out our network uh, monitoring site and, uh, and you'll read all about uh, everything that we're covering. Best of luck for the coming year, uh, and uh, and we'll hope to talk to you soon on down the road. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. So there you have it, another solution in our spotlight. We want to thank Pessler and Tomas and Libor for that presentation, and we appreciate your attendance as well. Until next time, I'm Doug Atkinson here at Solutions Review. Thanks for watching. If your business would like to be featured in a future event, contact us today.